laying hoops out in a spinach box. Thanks, Costco. Not a sponsor, just a good pal. We will not be spray painting baby spinach today. We will be spray painting embroidery hoops. There is a method to this. It's called don't get the paint on your hands. Uh, very advanced technique, of course. You really should wear a mask, but I did not do that because I like to take deep breaths and then spray the paint and then run away, take a breath of fresh air, uh, and repeat. Oh, and here I am collecting the lid that fell off of the paint can and rolled down the hill. Just collecting my things as time passes by because this is a time travel device I'm constructing here. Theoretically, this was supposed to be an easy process, but either my twine was very difficult to work with or the more likely answer, uh, I didn't know what I was doing. You attach the twine to the different hoops, tighten the hoop, go on to the next step. I was trying to cross the twine which is supposed to keep it more stable, and I just couldn't get it right. Sometimes I did it backwards, sometimes I forgot to put the string through the hoop. So then I had to go look up the <laughs> instructions. Does it balance? Yes, but I'm gonna look up instructions anyway. I wanna say thank you to all of the crafters who have gone before. I don't know what I would have done if there hadn't been a tutorial for how to crisscross twine correctly. Just manipulating twine to the best of my ability. If you are allergic to raw materials, I don't know if twine is considered a raw material, but this stuff gets twine dust everywhere. So if you don't want that, I would say get a high powered fan or like something similar. Oh, this was a big mistake. See how I removed the hoop from the tiniest ring over there? I did what I thought I had to do here. I thought I had to thread the twine underneath the cardboard middle, but then I realized, oh yeah, that's what the outside ring is for, so I don't have to do that. Eventually, I got it to hang pretty well. Evidently, I am satisfied with this result. As you can see, I'm taking great care to decide what length I should cut the twine. There's a lot of thought that goes into this. I won't bore you with the details. Well, I guess I will. So here's what I'm thinking. When the two pieces fold over onto the edge of the hoop, are they gonna overlap? Are they gonna fall off the edges? Is this gonna create more work? Am I gonna have to come and trim them later? This is an excellent hot glue method that I invented called use the scissors, not your thumb. You just press the back of the scissors against the hot glue to corral everything into the right place to dry and um, it doesn't burn you, which is super good. Howdy everyone, just wanted to give you a final look at what the time turner looks like in its new habitat. I don't have many complaints but I have a few. Turned out pretty nice, right? Well, yes, except for that it naturally wants to fall back into a row, just as it would lay flat on a table. So if it gets bumped at all, it like spins and falls out of place and stuff. And then also when the crosses uncross, um, it loses some of the tension. It looks like the twine should have been tightened a little bit more. And I can't do anything about that now because I hot glued it. I would have to rip it off and start over. Other than that, it looks nice. Well, actually, no, I have one more complaint. I feel like it looks a little sparse. There are three rings and they're not so close together. So it seems like the big one is out of place or it looks like a pokeball from certain angles, especially when there's a light shining on it. The shadow on the wall is a pokeball. It's a reference within a reference. I considered spray painting the twine after all was said and done. But I decided against it because you really can't tell that it's not gold. I say it's good. See, it's not crisscrossed right now. But if you try to go and crisscross it, it kind of does its own thing. That's how you get it to spin, by the way. It looks cool when it's in motion and it kind of fills in the gaps. When it's just sitting there, it's like there's only three rings. But when it's spinning, who knows how many rings there are? Maybe there's five. It occupies more space. That is the science 
was a good design. If you enjoyed this, let me know. I have lots more ideas where this came from. And this was inspired by a tutorial from another booktuber or fandom crafter. So that video will be linked if you want to see the official instructions and if you want to learn how to get that twine crisscross just right. May you never run out of time. See you next time. <laughs>